So Alex tried to push Michael away and say what happened at the reunion can't happen again. And I wanted to know what was at the heart of pushing him away at that point in time. I would immediately just say fear. I think that he's afraid of um, the relationship. You'll find out a little bit more as to like the origin of that fear, but I think even just like emotionally, he's afraid to confront his feelings. Mm -hmm. uh, he also knows that they are really opposite and he doesn't want to get hurt, you know? And uh, I think that he, although he, I think he has some inner peace with his sexuality. I think he still struggles with accepting it outwardly, you mm -hmm. know, his closest friends know and stuff, but he kind of has chosen to stay away from love for the last decade, you know? Um, they they meet in, in high school and then some bad stuff goes down. Mm. And so he decides to remove himself from the situation. So, fear. You said high school bad stuff went down. Does that mean we'll get to see you guys with the uh, teen uh, sh shimmer on your faces uh, like they did with Nathan? Oh, yeah. So, oh, yeah. Okay, so that'll, that'll be a flashback at some point? Yep. Yeah, there's a really fun, fun episode with that. Have you seen what you look like in the teen sheen that they no. put on the camera? No. Okay, what did you think of, how, of the Max character, Nathan's character, when they did that in the pilot? Um, him and Janine, they did that. It worked. They made them look so much like little babies. I yeah. thought it was hilarious. Yeah. It was awesome. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> You haven't seen it yet. I just rip on Nathan and say, you don't look like that, dude. I'm sorry. I know. He grew up. Yeah, you grew yeah. up. He grew up. So you have this really great moment in the episode where Alex comes, tells you you got to get out. The trailer has to be moved. The land's been bought 24 hours to go. And then your character says, yeah, but what? it's a historical site. I thought there was a law about... You know, building, building on a historical, historical site. Yeah, I remember that. And you're like, oh, the crash? Yeah, yeah. we, yeah. And then there's a line about Santa. <laughs> we, we, we can't build on Santa's workshop either. either. And the camera then focuses on your face as you turn away and you look like destroyed by what he just said. So tell mm. me what that meant to your character when he said that. Oh man, well it's that's crazy. the site of the crash. I know. And that's home. And all my character really wants is to find, uh, I think a common thread uh, and find his family and, and know about his background and where he comes from. And the only thing he has is that crash site. Yeah. Mm. So you're literally, and you're not just taking away my home, you're taking away my being. Mm -hmm. You know, everything that I've stood for. I mean, I would, you know, I don't, I don't actually don't know what is spoke about in episode two anymore. You know, it's been so, <laughs> it's been so long, but you know, as a kid, that was, that was my escape when yeah. I'd get out of the foster homes. He'd go there and wait for his family. He would go there and wait for his family. Maybe somebody would come and yeah. take him home, you know? Uh, I so, wonder how much of it too is like you, you see that it might be really hard to, uh, admit to me that maybe you're an alien, you know? Because oh, I'm yeah. making a joke out of it. At know? that point, he's not ready, you know, yeah. for that at all. Yeah, that's um, It's a loss of hope. Mm -hmm. These are good questions. Well, yeah, just, yeah Great. I, you brought up the childhood line too, which was really interesting because he, he says in episode two that to Isabel that he would go there and wait for his family to come back, which is like, so does he, do you think he remembers this family prior to his pod life in 1947? No, no. <laughs> I don't okay. think they, they don't remember, I don't think they remember anything okay. before the crash. You just think crash. he's hoping somebody's going to come back Something. Something's going to come back Who Who Something. got them out of the pods? Right. Why are they there? How come they're only the few that survived? There's yeah. all these questions surrounding, you know, this, this mystery that he wants to uncover. Okay. It's tough. Very. It's like, what do you think's keeping these two apart? Like, why can't they just be together? It's just like, <laughs> it's, so, it's so tormented. This is only episode two. I think it's tough because we don't want to divulge too much about a later episode mm -hmm. or two episodes, I think, but, but like something happened. There was a major. Yeah, there's yeah. definitely a turning point that just makes it feel very um, unattainable, but also like dangerous. Well, I will say that like if you are dating someone, mm -hmm. and you know, let's say when you start off, things are a little rocky, and then things get great, and then one little bad thing happens down the road, and you might be a different person but they correlate that with old actions, right? right? And I think it's really hard to escape um, a, a history with someone, no matter if you yeah. want to and you need to so badly or not. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just tough to get away from that.